It's time, Elman. It's my fault that John Elman is going to the electric chair tonight. What? Because I was afraid to let Jimmy tell the truth. Nancy. You've got to help us. He had nothing to do with the murder. Doctor, you've got to do something. He'll believe me. I, I like this movie better every time I see it. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Warden's office. This is the governor speaking. Stop the execution. Yes, sir. It's... it's too late, governor. They just gave him the first jolt. Movie over? For me it is. It's so all that. No, I borrowed a few things from sick bay. I decided to be a doctor this morning, so I'm studying anatomy. What's a butox, Doc? I want. Um, B-U-T-T-O-C-K-S. Butox. What's the matter, Doc? You sick? The captain's enthroned up there, grinning like a billikin. The men are sitting around, hypnotized by despair. This skin of the butox is especially sensitive to... Doc, remember what you said about me never doing things? Well, this one I'm going to do. Look at that. Lead foil and carpet tacks. Old Pulver's going to take these up there now and shoot the captain right in the butox. I like the part best where they bring the monster back to life and then he tries to kill him. Doctors have audiences just like actors. Come on. Scalpel. Scalpel. Scissors. Scissors. Stop watching the movie, Frank. Okay, Pops. Put this up your big fat Botox and smoke. Gunnery department, manned and ready. Engine room, manned and ready. Engine room, manned and ready. All stations, manned and ready, Captain. What happened, Billings? Maybe it's an enemy submarine! You stupid jerk! We haven't been within 5,000 miles of a... What's that? Holy crud! Fire! What's that shooting? Must be Dr. Hyde killing Frankenstein. <laughs> oh. Fire! Fire! Don't fire that gun! That's why I hit my fireworks! No, 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 no! No, don't! Fire! Stop! 
Microphone, Dolan. Hey, hurry up, sir. Now hear this. Now hear this. <laughs> Did it break the skin? I think it's lodged in the brain. How could it get to the brain? Well, that was Doctor Hyde, Captain. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was Doctor Jekyll. I don't care if it was Harry Truman. It's an iodine. Iodine. Maybe he stubbed his toe. Now hear this. You're going to stay at them battle stations till someone owns up to this. What's he talking about? You're a bunch of cowards. I'll take off my bars and fight any man on this ship. What are you doing back there, Doc? Flying adhesive tape. I don't like adhesive tape. Oh, very well. I'll remove it. Oh! What'd you do that for? Captain, you said, uh... Never mind what I said. You're a doctor and you should know what you're doing. You're a doctor. You should know what you're doing. Who said that? Now you can stop this clowning around because I'm going to find out who done this if it takes me the rest of the year. Don't make me laugh. Stop talking back to me. Uh, now calm down, Captain. Calm down. Those men don't know what happened here. Let me have that microphone. Hello. This is the doctor speaking. Unfortunately, while our captain was watching the movie, someone fired lead foil pellet, which penetrated deep into his right butox, uh, buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you hear that? Somebody shot the old man in the duff. In my opinion, this wound, although colorful, is not serious. Uh, the great damage is not to the body itself, but to the mind. 